So we've been talking about making a lot of changes around here over the last nine months. One of those changes is a rebrand of the entire business to almost passive income. Why don't you talk a little bit about what that means? Yeah, so the brand for a long time has been, I mean, more or less no brand, right? It's been stand-up conversions was the LLC I formed so that I could accept payments not through my personal name. And then it just sort of stuck around because of stand-up comedy and then doing conversions and copywriting and stuff. And as the business has evolved, it's really just been Ian Stanley as the name rather than a brand name of a company. Mm -hmm. And it was probably like a year ago, I had this idea, there was this other marketer guy and we were gonna build a list. And I was like, oh, why don't we do almost passive income? I wanted something broader. Yep. Um, and he was like, no, 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 I like that. And then like a day later, he's like, I really like that name. So it's like, my idea is that, my belief is that there's, you know, there's two primary types of income. You have active income, which means you are actively working in order for the income to come in. And then you have passive income, which is the idea of being on a beach, sipping, you know, cocktails and making money while you do nothing and that's extremely rare unless you're extremely wealthy Mm -hmm. and then you just get paid to be rich it's sort of the irony of getting rich it's like rock stars who pay for drugs and then they get so famous that they get drugs for free yeah like rich people get paid to be rich but the idea of almost passive income to me is anything that takes less than 10 or less than an hour a day a week or a month to grow or maintain or grow and maintain so that was the birth of the one hour work day is, you know, 30 minutes running traffic, 30 minutes building a list. And then it was James Langridge, who was, you know, our employee for a while, who came up with sort of what I think is the perfect phrase, which is how to make more money in less time while having more fun. Yeah. And I feel like that last little piece of it is the piece that differentiates us from all the other stuff, which is, okay, make more money in less time. You've heard that a million yeah. times. And you know, as one of my top rules of marketing and business is don't be boring. Mm-hmm. So to me, it's also important, and we talked about this earlier today, but the idea of there's a lifestyle business or there's this big money business. Well, I think you can grow a big business while maintaining your lifestyle. And if you're getting paid to have fun, then it doesn't really matter what you're doing because yeah. you're having fun. Yeah. So that's really the big piece for me is it's like, how do you minimize work you don't want to do maximize work you do want to do and all the while making sure that fun and the things that matter to you are at the forefront of whatever it is that you're doing so that it's not just well i work to make money i live for friday nights and saturday nights i hit the club you know bottle service and i can't wait till it's next friday again yeah like i never have wanted to live that way i barely ever know what day it is yeah and to me that's super important yeah and then and and what we've sort of seen already is and maybe this is the coming out video of this is the name of the business yeah but it's like as we've centralized the focus of our business and given ourselves one clear phrase and statement that people understand we've seen a shift in revenue over the past few months dramatically doubling the business because now everybody understands Oh, because the people used to go, well, what does Ian do? Right. I don't, it was a joke, I don't know. Right? Even for me, I didn't. It was like a constant joke. Yeah. Even at the 100 Million Mastermind, my name, they, you have to like come up with a name. And right. It was Bruce uh, Lipton. Who's the guy who does the um, the announcements for Bruce USC? Buffer. Bruce Buffer. So Bruce Buffer is, and now welcoming Ian. And it was, Ian, I don't really know what he does, Stanley. <laughs> And, or nobody really knows what I do, Stanley. And that's sort of been a running joke. And that's fine for a while, but at this point, when people can now say, oh, Ian Stanley, oh, he helps people make more money in less time while having more fun. I actually just changed the Instagram profile today. Because I think that is something that so many people want. I thought, that's a bit boring, because you know, I've had a business with a therapist doing emotional work. I've had a water filter company. I've done all these, I make parody videos. I do stand up, so I didn't want to box myself in. Yeah. And then ironically, when I've just accepted that when you meet somebody, they're not going to understand all of you as a person. You can yeah. just give them a sentence that they can grasp. Yep. And the funny thing is now people's response, it could be, it could be wealthy people. It could be a con member at your house and yeah. the, the contractor yeah. for the, the landscaper. Yeah. I said, what are we doing? He goes, oh, man, that's what I need. Yeah. People are always like, that's what I want. Yeah. And so by centralizing that focus and giving something people to understand, it's given them the lens now through which all of our products are sold through. And I don't know if they can see that, but all of our products now through this lens of almost passive income and people now feel like they have a path 
of how to create that for themselves. Yeah. We have the three phases yeah. that the Almost Passive Income Challenge goes through with the with the actual treasure map of yep. like here's phase one, phase two, phase three. And so now I feel like people feel like they're not lost yep. in what it is to actually build wealth. And yep. that other last piece of this is bridging the gap from marketing and making money to actual wealth generation yep. and like creating generational wealth that's not just, oh, I make it rain, bro. Right. Like actual money. Yeah. I think that's a really good segue to the next question.